Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Cardfight Vanguard Greed On deck profile for Post Blazing Dragon Reborn. I wanted to wait for updating the Greed On deck with the new support from Set 6, because we do also have some support that came out in the promo packs, the latest monthly promo packs for Greed On, being the new Rabbit Hiku, just for helping with calling out units from the soul. Greed On's main playstyle is restanding by placing your stood units into the soul, so being the main force in the deck is your go-to vanguard itself. Just having so much pressure with that restand and having additional units that you can now call out help with the multiple attacks that you can do with this deck all together. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So for the ride deck, our starter is Desire Devil Tida. When rode upon, if you went second, draw a card. Our grade one is Desire Devil Gomon. When rode upon by a uh, Desire Devil Bishoku, you reveal a card with greed on from your ride deck and draw a card. And when this unit is put from your rear guard into your soul by your vanguard's ability, if your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater, counterblast one until the end of the turn when your opponent will call cards from hand, they must call two or more at the same time. So it's more of a guard restriction card you can make use of with the grade one. So not bad for an additional option for the cards we run. Our grade two being Desire Devil Bishoku, when rode upon by Demonic Dragon Greedon. Put a card from your hand to your soul, search your deck for up to a card with the same name as this card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck, and from your soul during your turn, if your damage zone has four or more cards, your Greedon Vanguard gets plus 5,000, just for added pressure with our go-to grade three, being our Avaricious Demonic Dragon Greedon. Along with the copy we are running in the ride deck, we are also running three additional copies in the main deck with this card. Uh, if your soul has Avaracious Demonic Dragon Greed on. The number of cards you damage them for you to lose becomes seven. So always a more difficult path for your opponent to take to defeat you. And on the Vanguard Circle, at the end of the battle, this unit attack. Soul Blast 2 and put four more stood rear guards into your soul. Stand this unit. If your soul has 10 or more cards, it gets plus 15,000. There's the restand power and no drive minuses. You're just giving up some of your rear guard potential for it, but still well worth it, along with the additional Persona Ride, just providing you the seventh damage requirement to defeat you. Makes it a very difficult, you know, deck to get around. For the additional grade threes, running four copies of Desire Devil Defund. With this card, when placed on rear from hand, if your vanguard is Avaracious to mock Dragon Greed on, you may soul charge two. So just being a grade three soul charge two. And when this unit attacks, if your soul has two or more Avaracious to mock Greed on, you can counter blast one and it gets critical plus one. Being the additional pressure that your rear guard can be if you don't have the other ones to attack into because you put them in the soul with your Greed on, you can have this just be the go to attack that your opponent's either going to block or risk taking the Greed on Vanguard attack. For the Grade 2s, running two additional copies of Desire Devil Bishoku, having the additional Soul Power, which I mentioned before with the Vanguard uh, Ride Target, just having additional ones that you have to search out when you ride upon with Greed On is the important part of this card. And I also run two copies of Desire Devil Kennen. When placed on rear during your main phase, counter plus one, look at the top card of your deck, call to rear, and at the end of your turn, retire that called unit. So you really don't have to worry about the retire of the called unit because it's more than likely going to go into the soul to use with greed on just two copies of this though it has to be placed during the main phase so kind of counterproductive with some of the other cards we're running but for those other cards for the other grade twos that we are running in the deck i am also running two copies of desire devil kadoku when this unit attacks while not boosted if your vanguard is greed on choose up to four normal units with desire devil and from your drop choose if you chose uh, more than one card retire this unit and then to your deck and shuffle it and if you retired four more cards it gets plus 10,000 to end of turn so you return them into the deck and then this card gets the additional plus power so just recycle power so you don't deck out is why I also run two copies of this card and one copy of Desire Devil Muka. When this unit is placed on rear from hand, if your Vanguard is Greed On, Counter Blast 1, and then Soul Blast 2, choose a card from your soul and call it to rear guard. Giving you more field presence with this card, just a one of for that option for having all that soul build up and what you can do with it. For the grade ones, running four copies of the new Desire Devil Hiku. From the soul, when your grade three or greater Vanguard with Greed On its name attacks, you bind one other Desire Devil Hiku from your soul face up and call this card to the back row rear guard, giving you more of an option to boost your other rear guards with this card, especially with that pressure that you can provide to your Desire Devil Dauphin. It is why this is a really, really good card in the deck. You'll have the bind of another one, but then you'll just have that option to use multiple times and why we're maxing this card out at four copies. 
And I also run four copies of Desired Devil Bubetsu on rear once per turn when your other rear guard is put into your soul by your Vanguard's ability. Catalyst one, choose a card from your hand, call it to an open rear guard. If your soul has 10 or more cards, draw a card. Making up for the card you called to your rear guard, Bubetsu just helps to give you rear guard consistency, making sure that if you do put cards to your soul, you have that additional column to attack with Bubetsu and even the potential to call one additional card out to have with Hiku. So if you had that rear guard set up with your Persona ride, you could have the play when your other rear guards put into your soul, having Bubetsu in the front and the uh, front being able to put Hiku out behind it and have that one additional do fun for your soul or either it was put into soul and you have the Bubetsu to call out and then the Hiku to boost it. And then for the other grade ones, two Desire Devil uh, Zito. When this unit is put on rear into your soul by your Vanguard's ability, choose a card from your drop zone, put it into your soul. More soul buildup altogether, especially if you've damage zoned any of the Greedons, being able to put it from your drop zone into your soul to put you at the seven damage requirement for loss means it's just a good setup, but why it's also just a two of. And the other two of for the Desire Devils is two copies of Desire Devil Kuvsky with this card. When this unit is put into your soul from rear by the ability of your Greedon, if you did not uh, counter charge this turn, counter charge one, making up for a lot of the counter blasting that you'll do with this deck. And from the soul, when your rear guard is placed by a card ability, if your vanguard is avaricious, demonic greed on, and your damage zone has four or more cards, this card gets plus 5,000 till end of turn. So the unit called is the additional power that your Kuzgi can provide, but also the counter charging, because you will counter blast a lot with many of the different cards that we run in this deck. With the last of the grade ones being three Rakus hate dragon and one copy of elementaria sanctitude for the additional way to block against units with triple drive and then just having the additional sentinel to block and have you know hand preserved being able to not discard if you only have one or less cards for the trigger lineup being a very pressured deck with your vanguard we're running eight critical so four of the stem deviate dragon and four flinty slasher like i said this is just extra pressure to provide being able to hit hard with greed on restand then they either block that attack and if they block that one, they may also potentially have to block the additional rear guard if you get another critical, or just let it go through or have the pressure that Dufan can provide. For the other triggers, just three draw trigger, having the additional 5k shield for this one. And for the heal lineup, running two of the Favoriona, just the heal trigger of choice. And then one of the Yufa and one the Yuani for the additional ability heals for being able to guard against the restanding attackers or the one that have the two critical. With our over trigger being the Yao Mega Held for the plus 10 pressure, especially early game. If you get this over trigger, it'll just make your greed on that much more scary of an attack to go into. And that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoy the video. Like I said, Greedon is definitely a pressured deck, and it feels like one of those decks that has gotten a little bit of support in every single booster set. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and Kira Qualia out.